on a big, epic trip. Tom, it was one year ago. We met this month a year ago. And I met Tom at Camp for Heroes. He heard about me. He came out to meet me. And um, he shared his story with me. And I decided that God's calling me for a higher uh, purpose. And my ministry was to go out and help our active duty service members, our veterans, and our first responders. So, um, so many of them suffer with post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, suicide is rampant. And um, so I decided to get a bigger RV after I met Tom and I called him up and I said, do you mind if I put your photo on my RV? <laughs> and he's just like, well, at first he was kind of <laughs> unsure about that. And then he, he agreed to let me do it. So he said I could pick whatever photo I found of him. And uh, then that one I had for six months and it was falling apart. I mean, so I think the last time I was here it was falling apart and I told you guys I was going to get a new one. So I prayed hard about it because I couldn't afford to get a brand new RV. And I rolled into Camping World with my RV falling apart. And they gave me $14,000 more than I paid for it. And somehow I was like, I was traveling. I was at a Harley Davidson shop in South Carolina. They were doing an event there for veterans. And uh, <coughs> Hector came out and he said, we're doing a thermal hot hunt in Texas. And if you know of anybody who would like to um, be a contestant, a veteran, you can do a video and maybe they'll win. So I knew Tom had just gotten back from a turkey hunt, right, Tom? And we were in Florida. So I did a video with his photo behind me on my RV, and I just said, basically, who deserves it more than Tom does? And then I opened my big mouth and I said, if he wins, I will pick him up in North Carolina and I'm going to take him all the way to Texas and back. And as you know, he won. <laughs> Um, but then we started discussing his needs and everything, and we talked about the wheelchairs he was going to need, and I was like, oh my lord, I'm going to need a trailer. So Camp for Heroes let me use their 6x12 trailer, and I left there this morning pulling this 6x12 trailer, and I've never pulled a trailer, so we need lots of prayers. Uh, I just, I, everyone says you're so brave or whatever, and I just say God's protecting me and just giving me this strength, I guess. So, um, but then the organization was getting a little bit worried about me driving all this way. It's, uh, I left from Georgia, this is where my home base is, so it's 3,200 miles round trip for me, and we're going to be on the road. Well, I'll have been on the road for two weeks. So, uh, so we got his friend Mike, who is uh, a wounded veteran, and Mike is going to be traveling along with us. So I have the whole route planned out, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to stop over one night. They're going to stay in the hotel. I'll stay in the parking lot. I sleep in parking lots all over the country. I've traveled 63,000 miles now, and... I can't think of probably the most rewarding thing, one of the most rewarding things I think I'm ever going to do in my entire life, and I just feel like he so deserves it. So what I do is I travel the country, I meet veterans, first responders, and active duty members all over the country. They get in my RV, they share their stories with me. I have videotape, uh, videos of probably 100 now that have gotten in the RV, they share their stories. Since I've met you, I've met six mothers and uh, fathers that have lost their children to suicide. And it's, a, it's just an epidemic. And it's our active duty, our veterans, and our first responders. And uh, actually, my son was a firefighter, and he's a combat veteran. He just resigned as a firefighter uh, because of the stressors. So as I travel, I'm looking for resources all over the country. And I've been to Camp for Heroes, I've been to California, Idaho, Connecticut, Vermont, um, looking for resources to help. And one day, it just hit me about a month ago, and I said, you know what? God is bigger than any resource out there. So I started this movement called God is Bigger Movement. And there's this organization 
that donated all of these bracelets. So I'd like anybody that would like one of these bracelets. We're doing a movement all over the country. So if you follow me on my social media, you'll see uh, me with people all over the country doing God is Big, Bigger movement. So I have one for everybody here tonight. And then what I would like to ask is, how many veterans do we have here tonight? One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Um, today, I, I, I've been doing things to pass out all over the country, and there is a couple out there that has a ministry that's devoted to service members and veterans, and they gave me a whole packet of really awesome information. There's all kinds of scripture. It's faith-based, and I'd like to make sure that each of you guys get one of these. So I think, if you just raise your hand, you just quickly hand these out to me, and if I don't have enough... Um, well, I do. I've got, I've, I've got a whole box of <laughs> Yes. Oh. I remember. Uh, I have a whole box of them in my OV. Thank you all for your services. And um, so I would just like to ask you guys to just pray for us. It's um, a long trip. Um, I've never traveled with two Marines. Be, I have a feeling it's going to be very entertaining. Um, oh, they're harmless. <laughs> I ran into a Marine, but I don't know. I think these guys are a little bit of a different caliber. <laughs> so, get over excited. Just throw a bone between them. <laughs> so it's going to be quite interesting. So um, I would just like to, before we leave, if you could just... Um, say a prayer for us before we leave, and uh, mm -hmm. that would be very, very meaningful to me. So just keep lift us all up in your prayer. We're leaving on Thursday. I'm going to be parked in his driveway till then. I'm trying to get some work done, and we have to practice the trailer thing and all that stuff. So um, so we're leaving Thursday morning, and we'll be back, I don't know, maybe by March 8th, I'm thinking, no. 9th? I don't know. <laughs> we're, wait, we're waiting it. Uh, and then I have to hightail it back to Georgia because my son's coming to visit me, but I have a um, mother and father that lost their um, son to suicide. Um, it'll be one year, March 13th, and they asked to come and visit me so I can give them some love. And uh, so pray for me about that because I don't even know what to say. I'm just going to let the Lord talk through me to them and give them some some healings that are actually coming on the one year anniversary of their son's death to be with me. So that's what I do. So I'm so honored. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody. And just keep us in your prayers. Okay.